Welcome again. Uh, this is video two of three. Um, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to adjust Conda configurations. Um, and then we're going to update the Conda base environment. And we're going to install the NB Conda kernels um, package in the base environment. And this package is useful um, when it comes to using the Jupyter Hub since uh, uh, it allows uh, Conda to be able to um, uh, discover environments in different uh, locations. So this is why we want to install it in our base environment. All right. Um, so from last time, um, we had just installed Conda. Uh, so we now if we run Conda, it should show us uh, the location of Conda installation, which Python should point to the Python uh, in the uh, uh, in the condo location. So now if we do condo env list, we should see that we only have um, one environment. Uh, so you won't see this um, in your case, uh, but yeah, so this is what you should focus on. So there's a base environment and it's located in this location. So we want to do a couple of things. Uh, the first thing uh, is to add uh, add kind of channels to the configurations as uh, the high priority channel. So we want to do conda config add channels and then kind of forge. Um, so if this is your first time running this command, uh, everything should run without this warning. If it's the uh, second time or if this uh, channel exists in your configuration already, uh, you get a warning. And in my case, it was already there uh, due to my uh, previous installation. And then the next thing is um, conda config add no, set show channels. Let's so set this to true. Uh, something is wrong. Let me see. Um, yeah, it could be that. Let me see. Um, hmm. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, Oh, I have a typo. Should be channel, not channels. Okay. Okay. And then now the the next thing is to basically specify the location to use when creating new environments. So you want to make sure to change this to someplace more permanent uh, and with more space, uh, which is why uh, we're going to set this to be uh, our work uh, workspace. So in this case, I'm going to do conda. Let me just clear the terminal first. Conda config dash dash add env stars and then let's do glade work in my username opt and then mini and then envs okay so i already had some previous um uh, installation which is why it's uh warning me um so you shouldn't see the warning if this is the first time you're doing this and then the next thing is to run this command, add uh, pkgs stars, and then do grade work, opt, and come down pkgs. I'll probably get a warning again because I already have it. Um, uh, and then um, let's do a couple of things. Um, so we want to install pip anytime. Python is installed. 
So the way we do that is just do conda config dash dash set add pip as Python dependency set true. Okay, and then um, we want to tell Conda that if it ever finds uh, Python, the package that was installed by pip and that package is available on Conda, we want it to cleanly remove the pip installed software and replace, replace them with Conda packages when appropriate. So basically, cleanly remove pip installed software and replace them with Conda packages when appropriate. So the way we activate uh, these configurations by running conda config dash dash set pip tell op forward and then set this to true. Okay, so now um, if we look at this file in our home directory, we should see pretty much all of the configuration that we set. Um, Again, like I said, I had some previous things there, which is why uh, what you see here won't be exactly, um, won't be similar to what you have in your case. But we have this file, and this is where Conda looks for its configurations. So another way to see what those configurations are is by running Conda info. And this will tell us the active environment, the location, the configuration file, the Conda version, uh, the Python version, um, and then uh, tell us the cache, where it's basically caching the package that it's downloading, and where the environments will be located. All right, so now what we want to do, we want to update the base environment. So we want to run Conda update dash dash all dash so dash dash all, that means all the packages. And then we want to use the Conda Forge channel. And if we run that, uh, the Conda solver will kick in and then we'll basically try to see what packages, what versions are compatible with each other. And then it will suggest us, it will suggest to us what changes or what updates needs to be made. So as you can see, this is a list of packages that will be downloaded. Uh, it's telling us what package are going to be installed, new packages, and uh, it's telling us what packages will be removed and which ones will be updated. In this case, what's happening here is that uh, some of these packages basically used to come from this main channel, but we want version that come from Conda Forge. Um, so if we, um, if we hit yes, uh, we should basically start downloading a bunch of packages. Uh, and this is going to take some time, so I'm going to pause this um, and then I'll come back when uh, it's over. Okay, yeah, my pause settings on my recorder are not working. But well, that's fine, um, fast. Um, so now we have, uh, if we run on the list, we should see a list of packages in our environment, uh, in, our, in our base environment. Okay, so what we wanna do is uh, install uh, this package called uh, MB Color Kernels. And the purpose of this package is to allow Conda to discover uh, um, uh, Jupyter kernels that reside uh, in different environments. Um, and the way we install that package is by running Conda install dash c the channel and then the name of the package and then just hit enter. Um, so this will take a couple of seconds, and if you already have the package already installed, then nothing will be done. 
but um, you should see a prompt uh, if this is the first time running this command, and then you should accept. Um, in my case, uh, this was installed because I previously installed this package uh, in my recording, but then for some reason, uh, my recorder didn't actually uh, pick that up. Uh, so, so yeah. So now if we run conda list, we should see the list of packages that we have in our environment. Um, and as you can see, uh, we don't have that many packages in our base environment. And this is actually how you want it. You want to keep your base environment to bare minimum, uh, and then just install additional packages that you want to use on a regular basis in separate environments. This makes it easier uh, when it comes to uh, updating Conda and, and, and dealing with some issues when um, you need to fix uh, your base environment. So that's it for video two of three. Um, so in the next video, we're going to talk about how to create a new environment and how to access it from the Jupyter Hub. All right, see you in video three.